All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my grocery haul. So I went to three stores today, and I probably will go to more later this week to add on. So don't be surprised if I add on after this. So I went to Myers because they have an awesome deal. This is the week of Memorial Day weekend. So um, this is Tuesday the 25th. And so they have beef on sale, ground beef on sale for $179. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, one seventy nine for eighty twenty, and then they have boneless chicken breast for one sixty nine for boneless skin chicken breast. So I got both of those. So that's right there. Um, gosh, you can't see my hands. So it's right there. Um, so that's what I got, and then they had. Cantaloupe for 250 and some other good stuff. So, again, my son asked for peaches, so I got three peaches. They were not really on sale. But to please my child, I got them anyways. So, the peaches were $2.99 a pound. I didn't get quite a pound. So, $2.99 a pound. I didn't get quite a pound. They were two forty-five for three of them. Bananas. We always get three bananas. Some went green to last the week. They were sixty cents. Okay. So um, my ground beef one was six forty-six for three point six one pounds. The other one was three point seven pounds. For 6.62, I will cut this up in four, so there'll be less than a pound in each package, which is fine for us. It's not a big deal. So I'll have eight packages for less than around seven pounds of meat, and it was limit two, so that's why you only see two packages here. But I am going to probably, if I have enough room in my budget, I will probably go back and pick up two more packages because I am low on ground beef and that's when I stock up is when it's 169 179 instead of paying the 399 or the 359 or whatever so this is when I stock up is when it's on sale like this so um the best time to stock up on ground beef and grilling steaks and all that stuff is when it's grilling time so Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, 4th of July weekend, that kind of stuff. So when you see it on sale, pick it up. So I picked up the limit two for today. It's Tuesday. I will probably go back on payday, which is Friday, and pick it up. So you'll probably see it on next week's. Either I'll I'll do it again or I will I will pick it up on Friday and I'll either put it with this. And edit it in, or I will add it in next week's call and let you guys know I picked it up on Friday or Saturday before the sale ends. So either or, just to let you know. <clears throat> Chicken breast was one sixty nine or one seventy nine. Hold on, I forgot already. One sixty nine. So this was one seventy nine. The ground beef was one seventy nine a pound. This was one sixty nine a pound. Great deal. So one package will cost me seven thirty. The other package is six ninety. They're both about four pounds of meat. So I will probably package up in five bags and throw it in my freezer. Perfectly fine for us. So that right there is about ten packages of meals. So that's how I do that, and I'll take you along when I package it up, as always. And then I am out of crushed tomatoes. I use this for chicken. Ooh. So that's all I got at Meyer. sorry. And then um, Walmart. My crushed mails, the stack is going to fall. <laughs> so I got three of them. I'm all out of them. My husband and my son does not like the chunky tomatoes, so I try not to get diced or whole. 
but I can get away with the crushed tomatoes. So I can use this for making sauces, uh, spaghetti sauce or whatnot. And I use it in my chicken parm recipe. So I picked up three of those because I was completely out. I don't hardly ever buy cheddar cheese, but I really want uh, broccoli cheese soup. Buy me only one that'll eat it. I've got the broccoli in the freezer or in the fridge, and I want the soup. So I figured I will make it with this, add some milk, thin it out, and make it just enough for me for a couple days. That's why I did this instead of a big block. Because I can just put this in the fridge or freezer. I told you guys uh, a couple weeks ago I was almost out of breadcrumbs. So I bought another one. This was 109 Yeah, that was 109 My tomatoes were $0.87 cents a piece. My cheese was one ninety-eight, and then the spaghetti rings my son asked for were sixty-seven cents, so they're just spaghettios, and he requested them. I don't normally buy them, but he's been eating them at Sissy's house, so I figured it'd be a quick lunch or whatever, or I can take them to go. And he says he eats them out of the can at Sissy's. So I can take him to go when we are going to one of his games, and he can. Oh, we don't eat them out of can. He eats them warmed up. Do you eat them? Does she microwave them? Oh, well, I can take them on our trip, and we can microwave them or whatever when we go on a vacation. So nice to know. Okay, hush. No, you can't microwave the can. The can actually blow up in the microwave. Can't my friend can. Um, two fifty for the melon that also came from Myers. Then I went to Aldi's for these three items. This came to two two seventy five for all three of these items. So the hamburger is these all three are actually for um we're having sloppy joes. My husband asked for uh biscuit sloppy joes, and my mom and sister are coming over. So I made sure I had enough because they all like it. And I do not like biscuit sloppy joes. I don't like my biscuit. I like my biscuit plain. So I got myself buns. Which I can also use for this weekend for when we grow. So it's dual purpose for the buns. So right there I'll put the total somewhere around here. Unless I have another clip of groceries that we will be bringing. Um, don't worry about any not having any vegetables. I have plenty of vegetables in my fridge since we did not cook it all last week. So I have broccoli in there. I have some more um, Brussels sprouts. I still have like half a pound of Brussels sprouts that I didn't cook yet. And uh, stale carrots. I probably have half a cucumber in there still. So I'm still good on veggies. And we will make do. Plus we have cans and frozen veggies. So... There we go. I will bag these up and we'll take you along and put all the brushes away. As always, my kids go in and out. All right, so as always, make sure you label, label, label your bags. As today is the 25th, 5, 21, and this is ground beef. Ground beef. So I'm going to do that for all eight of my bags. And then I'll come back to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to take just a butter knife and I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to go like this, literally making an X. And then I will just take the corners and put them in bags. That's all I do. So come with me while I do it. I'll put music on for you guys and speed up the process so you don't have to do it, wait the whole time I do it. 
I'm going to finish marking these and do that. And then I'll cut, do my chicken too. And here we go. Okay, if you could tell, I'm rolling my chicken breast on top of it to get as much air out. That's how I do the chicken breast. So that gets most of the air out by the weight. Just to let you know. So just do that. You just roll it. like a vacuum seal by the weight. I don't have a vacuum sealer. Not yet anyways. It's on the Christmas list. I said it to one of my kids. <laughs> it's on the Christmas list. And there we go. So I have eight of these and I have nine of these. So I'll put them in the freezer, but that's right there. 17 meals and I'm sure there'll be leftovers with this meat. Um, this is more of a cut up and put into stuff. And this is how I feed my family of three with meat. Um, like this right here will be for burgers or it'll go into lasagna or make um, tacos, anything like that. Actually, I make two of our lasagnas because I usually only use half. Or I'll make um, tacos to go in the freezer in lasagna with one of those. So there you go.